in the evening without giving an opportunity to one of the say rugby legends, the man, Mr. Gavin uh, Bereges, to come and say his speech before we wrap things up and party the night away. So Gav, over to you. Please give him a round of applause. Good evening, Honorable President Mbeki, Jake White, the Honorable Jake White, <laughs> Captain John Smith, our Rugby World Cup winning legends, Johnny Berger, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before I start, I, I think that from South African rugby legends, I think we need to start off with the first bursary from tonight to Pretoria Boys High School uh, in the name of Johnny Berger and, and, and the Hall of Fame. I, I'm really so privileged to be here with the incredible two seven, 2007 team who so richly deserve to be honored uh, and, and being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's incredible to think that in over 130 years of playing rugby, uh, we have seven rugby players that have played 100 games for their country. Wow. And of those seven rugby players, five of the seven in 130 years come from the 2007 Rugby World Cup team. I must say it's great, uh, Monty, to have you here tonight. I know that you couldn't uh, find your jacket because it didn't fit you, and lucky John Smith gave you one extra. <laughs> Thanks, Captain, for that. Guys, I'm very privileged because uh, Smitty is the CEO of uh, our company's security team, SSG, and I remember when I asked him to join us, he was the CEO of the Sharks and I asked him to leave and, and come across to us and everyone said to me, why are you doing that? He knows nothing about security. And I said, but we've got six and a half or 7,000 people at the time who know everything about security. But one thing John does know is how to manage people. Because John's managed people since he was a schoolboy, a primary schoolboy. And he's always been a great leader. And our business is the, the security business is over 20 years old. John's been there four years. He's doubled the size of the company. And you're not getting a bonus. But, um, <laughs> but more importantly, he was the leader in bringing victory to our country in 2007. And Smitty is just tes testimony to that cliche that don't ever back the horse, you only back the jockey. And what a great jockey he has been for our country. It's crazy that it's 16 years ago that we won the Rugby World Cup. Um, it's just, it, I promise you, for me it just feels like yesterday. I've been to every uh, Rugby World Cup final since 1995. And uh, there's always a great story that comes out of the 2017 uh, 2017. Invariably they involve Bucky's on some level. But they're always wonderful stories. And if it's about records being broken, it's Smitty as the most cap test captain in history, or, 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 or Victor playing the most games, or Brian scoring the most tries, or, or, or Monty scoring the most points, or Jean breaking the record and playing more World Cups than four World Cups. Uh, but every single player and team member who is part of that incredible squad play such an immense part in, su in securing that victory for us, which united our country in the only way that rugby can. Uh, as for our great coach, Jake, who didn't get his contract renewed, I was very grateful for that because Jake joined me for the, for the next year and he headed up our marketing team and he did a wonderful job. So thanks for that, Jake. And thanks to South African Rugby for not uh, renewing your contract. <laughs> I've got to tell you guys, it was reported that 
a movie theater displayed a short film a while back began with a snatch, snapshot of the room ceiling. No details, no colors, just a white ceiling. The same scene remained displayed for six long minutes when the movie started, the movie goers started to get frustrated and some complained about the filming, about wasting their time and started to leave. And suddenly the camera lens slowly started to move down until it reached down towards the floor. And there was a small child who, who appeared handicapped, who was lying fixed on the floor, suffering from a, a spinal cord tear. The camera then pans back up to the ceiling with the following words. We showed you only eight minutes of this child's life. Only eight minutes from the scene that this handicapped child watches 24 hours a day. That's all he sees is that white ceiling. And you complained and you weren't patient for even six minutes. You couldn't bear to watch it. Sometimes we need to put ourselves in other shoes in order to re realize the magnitude of the blessings that we are given. So what is the South Sea South African Rugby Legends all about? We the guys who help these kids change the white ceiling for the sunlight. We actually have a young man exactly like that. I'm sure a lot of you will remember in 2006 when Holvey Nell uh, broke his neck as a, a, what's great, a, a great kid, standard eight, in Bloom. And Andre Fent alerted us to this young kid. And um, um, he broke his neck, he was a quadriplegic and a very, very long story short. Because of everybody here tonight, the rugby legends, the guys who support the rugby legends, the legends of rugby, 17 years later, he is a qualified lawyer with a master's degree cum laude in dispute resolution and company tax law because of you. Give yourselves a big hand. We do. We change people's lives so that they always look for the sun and not the white ceiling, just like rugby players do. And uh, it's just a big privilege for us to have Smitty as the CEO of South African Rugby Legends. Thank you for that, Smitty. Um, from development programs, upskilling and creating opportunities uh, for upward of 30 to 40,000 kids every year, feeding hundreds of thousands of underprivileged kids around the country, and helping former players and people in despair. I remember when COVID kicked, uh, Yanni and Bismarck were the first guys who put their hand up to rally all the farmers to, to feed hundreds of thousands of kids these protein meals. It was just amazing. Brian Habana, Brian handed out millions and millions of oranges to give kids vitamin C. And so many other guys, I mean, you know, whenever I've asked the players to arrive for our feeding programs, there's never been anyone with it whether we've asked them or they've just arrived, the Springboks, the players, the legends who just support everything that we do, who've just been there to help change the lives in our country. I'll tell you a quick story, guys. I'm nearly done in another minute. Um, I was watching a program where a journalist uh, asked a soccer, player why, a soccer player why he has such a bad year. He scored 15 goals this year, whereas the previous year he had, uh, he had scored 30 goals. And this guy said to him, what do you mean I've had a bad year? Because I scored 15 goals? He says, Michael Jordan won six NBA, NBA titles. He won six, but he played for 15 years. Does that make the other nine years that he played bad years? No, it doesn't. Because you can't win all of them, but you give it your best every single time. Yeah, and we always talk about, you know, IQ. Everyone's hopping on the IQ, your intelligence quotient. And then there's the S SQ, your social question, how you deal with things socially and your emotional question. But the big one that people talk about is your, that we should be talking about is your adversity question. How do you deal with adversity? So your ability, John, Jake, your team, your ability to deal with adversity is what won the 2007 Rugby World Cup. That's what made you the very best in the world. Because of you, 
to the South African rugby supporters, our ability, the country's ability to deal with adversity is the reason South African rugby legends is the foremost sporting development program in South Africa over the last 22 years. You guys are our inspiration. You guys are our motivation. You gave it everything and you never left anything on the field. That intensity is something that all of us who've never played at a high level will never ever be able to comprehend because I've never ever lost a game or won a game from the side of the field. So I'd like to take this opportunity also as, as our Honourable President did, of wishing Sia and our box all the very best in Paris and hope they can make it back-to-back -back wins. Either way, I know that 60 million people are out there supporting our box every step of the way. And Korsi Sigaleli, Africa. God bless you. Thank you very much.